Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video, we are gonna be talking a little bit about the brand new Let's Go feature announced for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet that allows you to take a Pokemon out to follow you around and auto battle opponents. This is very interesting. It confirms that we're not getting any more Let's Go games, in my opinion, and it's just another interesting addition to the open world. But before we get into any of that, I just wanted to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For those of you who don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography and illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find classes that will match your goals and interests. It's also an excellent way to invest in yourself and your own personal growth. Interested in video creation, mastering social media use for marketing or for personal growth, or the online gaming space? Skillshare has courses that would be perfect for helping you learn new and exciting things about them all. I've recently been taking Alex Lyon's class on communication skills, and the lessons I've learned from it have really improved my confidence with public speaking and with how I go about managing my channel behind the scenes. If you're interested, head down to the description below, because the first 1,000 people who use the link will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. One of the interesting things that we saw in some of the early Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailers was that in some screenshots and videos, there was your starter Pokemon or another Pokemon on your team following behind the trainer. We specifically saw this in multiplayer instances. So some people in the community began to speculate that maybe it was a feature locked behind when you're in the open world with your friends. But as we've finally been told in a more recent trailer, it is actually a brand new feature called the Let's Go feature. Very much taken from the Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games, of course, inspired by Pokemon Go. This feature allows you to take your Pokemon out of your Pokeball and it will follow around you. It will collect items. It will auto battle other Pokemon in the wild and gain experience. You have a little health bar on the bottom of the screen, which shows you how much health your Pokemon has out in the wild when you need to heal it, when you need to bring it back in its Pokeball, how much more it can do, etc. It is essentially a feature that allows you to explore the open world without having to battle every single Pokemon or catch every single Pokemon that you encounter. You can be more selective in how you're exploring. Now this is interesting because one of the criticisms of Pokemon Legends Arceus by some was that the number of wild Pokemon that would go after you in the overworld sometimes got in the way of the exploration. So with this feature in Scarlet and Violet, you're going to be able to explore the open world more while allowing yourself to be more selective with when you engage in Pokemon battles. There are a couple questions that come from this feature. Uh, how much of it is tied to the overall growth of your team? How much experience are you going to be able to gain from auto battles? Is it going to be less than if you engage in a legitimate Pokemon battle where you're selecting the moves and going through the turn-based combat? Or will it be even to it? One of the unfortunate parts of this feature is I think it is directly tied to walking Pokemon. So you're not going to be able to have your Pokemon follow you if it's not in this Let's Go feature. Although I will say some of the wording on the official website is a little unclear. At one point, it talks about how when your Pokemon is out of its Pokeball, it's going to have the option to engage with the Let's Go feature. It doesn't say specifically that it's an option, but uh, throw a screenshot on the video screen right here now. The wording is a little strange. It seems to imply that there's going to be a choice to what this Pokemon is doing when it's out of its Pokeball. If it's engaged in this auto battle, auto collecting Let's Go feature, or if it's just out. But if I had to be a guessing man, if I had to make a prediction and put money on this, I think this is following Pokemon. I don't think they just come out and follow you around natively and don't really have any interactions anymore. I think that mechanic is now tied to this Let's Go feature. They are now one in the same. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos and hopefully enjoying them aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. 
and check out the join tab see if the perks interest you and if you want to go the extra mile in supporting me that is also always greatly appreciated there had been a lot of discussion in the community over the last couple years as to the future of the let's go games of course the first switch games uh the first mainline switch pokemon games that we got were pokemon let's go pikachu and let's go eevee remakes of pokemon yellow with following pokemon and partner pokemon that had their own special moves integration with pokemon go the works and many people wanted to know if they were going to continue this series of games moving forward maybe in the johto region or in another future region that hadn't been remade in a while that we hadn't seen in a while and while i think a lot of people including myself felt that they were test cases they were hardware experiments a way to try to get the Pokemon Go audience into the mainline games. We weren't going to see any more future Let's Go games. There wasn't going to be a Let's Go Johto. There wasn't going to be a Let's Go Meryl and a Let's Go Pichu, as some people speculated for Johto. But it is really nice to see that the Pokemon Company took the name Let's Go and integrated it into future Pokemon games. It is its own feature now. It lives on in the memory of players, and it lives on in the mechanics of Scarlet and Violet. It takes the most popular piece of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, besides maybe the music, and reintegrates it into the franchise and ties it together with another beloved mechanic, which is Pokemon following you. We have had Pokemon following us in recent games. In Sword and Shield, it was not in the base game, but once the DLC came out, it was a feature available to us, but it seemed very clunky. The Pokemon didn't always catch up with you as well as they should have. It was a little odd that you could just kind of push them around when you walked into them. It didn't feel as dynamic and it didn't feel as wholesome as it did in games like Heart Gold and Soul Silver or in the Amity Park in Diamond Pearl and Platinum. But it looks as if this is going to add legitimate gameplay mechanics to that feature and also kind of round it into form into something that is usable in an open world environment and it is not just aesthetic. I hope we can see the shiny forms of Pokemon out in the overworld. I'm sure this is something that they've thought about. We've gotten shiny Pokemon in the overworld before, and we've seen this in Legends Arceus and other games up to this point. So I would have to imagine that their shiny variants are going to render out in the overworld. And I just hope that it's not too gamey. I hope that it's not something that makes the game incredibly easy for that one Pokemon. I hope it doesn't offer as much experience growth as real battles do or as trainer battles do. I hope that it's a little bit null and it's more so for collecting items, allowing your open world experience to be less cluttered and you can focus on the exploration. I hope it utilizes all of those measures while not making the game too easy. And I hope it is something that is not necessary for certain parts of the game. Hopefully there are not special items that can only be acquired via the let's go mode, because if it does make the game a lot easier, I think there's going to be a lot of players who opt to keep the feature off to have a more competitive experience, to have a more difficult, challenging gameplay experience, sort of like how some trainers use Nuzlocks and other self, uh, self-imposed rules in their Pokemon run-throughs. Hopefully, the Let's Go feature is toggleable and doesn't dramatically impede your adventure if you do not choose to use it. But what do you guys think of the Let's Go feature? Do you like it? Are you going to use it on your journey? Are you worried that it's going to make the game too easy? Or do you like that it makes the exploration seem a little bit less cluttered and more straightforward? Let me know down in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed this Pokemon Scarlet and Violet video and you want to see more like it in the future, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you'll see more. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.